From the vast silence of interstellar space comes a rare visitor, an emissary from beyond our sun's domain. After journeying for countless millennia through the galactic void, this object now intersects with our solar system, igniting a wave of discovery and exploration. This is no science fiction scenario. It is the real story of 3i Atlas, only the third known interstellar object ever detected. A cosmic wayfarer, shimmering faintly against the backdrop of distant stars, it challenges us to push the frontiers of knowledge and deepen our quest to understand the universe. On July 21, 2025, the Hubble Space Telescope locked its gaze onto 3i Atlas. The image it captured was unlike any comet or asteroid we have cataloged before. Instead of the classic cometary tail stretching away from the sun, Hubble revealed a diffuse, sun-facing glow, a strange, luminous shroud ahead of the object's motion. There was no evidence of a bright tail trailing behind, no signature plume of gas or dust being swept away by the solar wind. What could possibly explain this peculiar behavior? Astronomers immediately took to their calculations and spectrographs. The first clues came from 3i Atlas's color profile. Observations showed pronounced reddening, without the usual spectral fingerprints of gas, no sign of water vapor, carbon monoxide, or other volatile compounds that typically sublimate from comets as they near the sun. Instead, 3i Atlas appeared ghostly and enigmatic, its glow baffling in both intensity and origin. Diving deeper, researchers analyzed the surface brightness profile of the glow using Hubble's data. They found something extraordinary, a steep decline in brightness following a power law slope of minus four with distance from the nucleus. This was much steeper than anything observed in solar system comets, which typically display a gentler minus two profile as sunlight scatters off dust grains ejected from the nucleus. What could cause such a sharp gradient? The answer, it seemed, lay not in the way sunlight was reflected, but in the very possibility that 3i Atlas might be generating its own light. Such a proposition is radical and thrilling. If the glow is not just reflected sunlight, but emission from a central source, then the object could be far smaller and far stranger than initially believed. Under the normal reflection model, the object would have to be up to 20 kilometers in diameter, an enormous body for an interstellar visitor, one that should statistically appear only once every 10,000 years or more, but if 3i Atlas produces its own light, the required size drops dramatically. It could be just tens of meters across, comparable to the previous interstellar objects that have visited our solar system, Oumuamua and Borisov. To test this idea, scientists calculated the luminosity needed to explain the observed brightness, on the order of 10 gigawatts, about the output of a large terrestrial power plant. The steepness of the glow implies that the light is dominated by the nucleus, whether it is reflected or emitted. But sunlight alone cannot account for the 1 over r to the fourth power drop-off in brightness. The density of dust in a typical comet's coma, even with a steady outflow, cannot reproduce the steep profile observed. Alternative natural explanations were considered. One possibility, perhaps the glow was caused by icy particles rapidly evaporating as they approach the sun from the warm, sun-facing side of 3i Atlas. This could explain why the glow points forward rather than trailing behind. However, the evaporation timescale would need to be on the order of just 10 minutes, and even this hypothesis struggles to replicate the observed brightness gradient. Could the nucleus simply be a very hot thermal emitter? Calculations show that for the emission to peak at the observed wavelengths, the surface temperature would need to exceed 1,000 degrees Kelvin. Below this, the light would shift to longer wavelengths, inconsistent with the data. At such high temperatures, the object could be less than 100 meters in size and still account for the observed luminosity. But what astrophysical process? Some of the more exotic natural candidates were quickly ruled out. For example, a primordial black hole radiating at a hawking temperature of 1,000 Kelvin would produce only a minuscule 20 nanowatts, billions of times below the observed output. 
An object powered by the radioactive decay of elements from a recent supernova was also deemed extremely unlikely, given the scarcity of such material in interstellar space. Even the idea of frictional heating as the object plows through interplanetary dust doesn't hold up as the required ambient density would need to be orders of magnitude higher than what's actually present in the main asteroid belt. With natural explanations strained, the possibility of a technological origin, however speculative, cannot be dismissed outright. Could 3i Atlas be an interstellar probe powered by some internal nuclear source emitting dust and light as it traverses the solar system? The very idea ignites the imagination, and the scientific community is now mobilizing to gather as much data as possible. The opportunity is unique. In October 2025, 3i Atlas will pass within just 29 million kilometers of Mars, closer than many spacecraft have come to the Red Planet. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, equipped with the powerful high-rise camera, stands ready to capture high-resolution images of this mysterious visitor. Observations from Earth may be challenging, as 3i Atlas's proximity to the Sun in our sky will make ground-based viewing difficult. But from Mars's vantage point, the potential for breakthrough discoveries is immense. Each new interstellar object presents a fresh puzzle and a chance to rewrite what we know about our place in the cosmos. 3i Atlas is the latest chapter in this unfolding story, a cosmic enigma luminous against the backdrop of space, daring us to decipher its origin and nature. As astronomers prepare their instruments and refine their models, the world waits with bated breath for what this interstellar messenger will reveal. The enigma of 3i Atlas continues to deepen with every observation. Unlike typical comets streaking across our solar system, 3i Atlas displays no visible tail and lacks the spectral fingerprints of gas that usually tell the story of an object's volatile materials evaporating in sunlight. Instead, the Hubble Space Telescope's July 2025 image captured something unexpected, a diffuse, sun-facing glow ahead of the object, not the trailing tail we often associate with comets. This glow was initially interpreted as the result of dust evaporating from the side of 3i Atlas that faces the sun, but the puzzle only grows more complex from there. When astronomers analyzed the surface brightness profile of this glow, they encountered a steep decline, a projected power loss slope of minus three, implying a three-dimensional emissivity profile with an even steeper minus four slope. This is significantly sharper than anything seen in typical solar system comets, hinting that the processes at work around 3i Atlas are fundamentally different. One intriguing explanation is that the dust outflow is illuminated by a central source of light rather than simply reflecting sunlight. If this is the case, it suggests the possibility of a much smaller nucleus, potentially less than 100 meters in diameter, as opposed to the 20 kilometer size predicted if the object were simply reflecting sunlight. The implications of such a compact and bright emitter are profound. To test the limits of natural explanations, researchers considered a variety of possibilities. Could 3i Atlas be a primordial black hole? Calculations quickly ruled this out. The power output would be many orders of magnitude too small. What about a fragment from a supernova, rich in radioactive material and glowing with the energy of decay? Again, this seems highly improbable given the rarity of such materials and the lack of supporting evidence in the current data. Another hypothesis is that 3i Atlas is heated by friction as it travels through the interplanetary medium, generating enough energy to produce the observed glow. However, when scientists plugged in the numbers, the mass loss rate, the speed of the dust ejection, and the density of the space through which the object is moving, they found that this scenario doesn't hold up. The density of interplanetary dust and gas is simply too low to support such intense heating by ram pressure. This brings us to the most tantalizing possibility, 
that the nucleus of 3 I atlas itself is generating the majority of the observed light. To match the data, the effective surface temperature of this nucleus would need to exceed 1000 degrees Kelvin. At such temperatures, the peak emission shifts into the near-infrared or visible spectrum, just as observed. The required luminosity could be achieved by a compact source, much smaller than the originally estimated 20 kilometers. If so, 3I Atlas would be comparable in size to the interstellar objects Oumuamua and Borisov, both of which already challenged our expectations about what kinds of objects traverse the vast emptiness between the stars. So what could supply the energy to produce this light? The natural explanations grow thin. The possibility remains, however remote, that 3I Atlas is an artificial object, a spacecraft powered by nuclear energy, perhaps, with dust streaming from its sunward face, possibly as a result of accumulated debris from its journey through interstellar space. While there's currently no direct evidence to support this scenario, it cannot be completely ruled out either. The fine-tuned trajectory of 3I Atlas, along with the peculiarities of its brightness profile, keep this hypothesis alive as a subject of scientific debate and investigation. Upcoming observations promise to shed more light on this mystery. On October 3, 2025, 3I Atlas will make its closest approach to Mars, passing within about 29 million kilometers of the Red Planet. This presents a rare and exciting opportunity. The Harizi camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, one of the most powerful telescopic imagers ever sent to another planet, may be able to capture unprecedented details of 3I Atlas as it whips past Mars. Observing from Earth at the same time will be challenging, as the object's position in the sky will be close to the Sun, but any data we can gather from both Mars and terrestrial telescopes will be critical in piecing together the true nature of this interstellar visitor. With each new discovery, we're reminded that the universe is full of surprises. Objects like 3I Atlas, with their unexpected properties and mysterious origins, force us to rethink what we know about the cosmos and our place within it. They challenge our models, stretch our imaginations, and drive technological and scientific innovation as we race to keep up with the questions they pose. The story of 3I Atlas is still being written. As data pours in from the world's most advanced observatories, and as researchers continue to refine their models, we stand on the edge of potentially groundbreaking discoveries about interstellar objects, about the processes that shape them, and about the possibility of technology beyond Earth. Each interstellar messenger that crosses our solar system brings with it the potential to rewrite what we know about the universe. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mysteries of 3I Atlas and the wonders of interstellar exploration. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the cosmos, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. The universe is waiting to reveal its secrets, and together, we'll be here to witness them.